coming toward the LFTs interpretation. So these are the whole LFTs, the bilirubin, AST, ALD, alkaline phosphatase, GGTPT, and serum albumin. So coming first toward the bilirubin. Bilirubin comes from the metabolism of the RBC. So if you are having unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, that is the unconjugated bilirubin increases in the blood. So it is prehepatic <clears throat> and the cause is hemolytic anemias or ineffective erythropoiosis. These two are the main causes. Unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia causes prehepatic or if you are having conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, the cause is hepatic. The cause is hepatic or post-hepatic. But the main difference is if you are having unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia, you know that the cause is prehepatic and uh, and there are main two causes: hemolytic anemia and ineffective erythropoiosis. Now, if a person is having conjugated hyperbilirubinemia, then the cause is either in the liver or post-hepatic down the tract common bile duct if there is obstruction there is glucuronidation going on in hepatitis in hepatitis there is unconjugated hyperbilirubinemia are conjugated the answer is in hepatitis the glucuronidase enzyme becomes super active when it becomes super active it increases the conjugation process if it is increasing the conjugation process so there is conjugated hyperbilirubinemia in case of acute infection acute hepatitis and that in any urine is it conjugated bilirubin that comes in the urine or unconjugated bilirubin that comes in the urine that is conjugated bilirubin why because the conjugated is water soluble and it is not albumin bound the unconjugated is lipid soluble that does not come in the urine that's why the color of the urine in in case of hepatitis is is yellow is it because of conjugated hyperbilirubinemia because there are two separate mcq one mcq is in hepatitis you are having conjugated hyperbilirubinemia and in hepatitis the color of urine is yellow because of the water soluble excretion of bilirubin well, another scenario is a person comes to you in case of fasting and he is having increased bilirubin that is mildly raised. So the, usually the cause is Gilbert syndrome. Any kind of stress can increase the bilirubin mild elevation and that is very common. And the people are doing a lot of investigation without uh, knowing the exact pathology. So the bilirubin, I discussed that. Now the AST to ALT. Now these are raised in a lot of diseases when there is direct damage to the to the to the liver the ratio of AST to ALT if it is more than two it means what alcohol drug alcohol drugs alcohol drugs and if the AST LT both are elevated but that is less than two what does that mean that mean all other causes that mean all other causes so that ratio is very important they do ask in exam the AST and the ALT these are the two enzymes the AST comes from the mitochondria as, as well as the cytoplasm of the hepatocyte while the ALT comes from the cytoplasm of the hepatocytes AST also occur in the heart in the muscles but these ratio is very important if it is two or more than two then this is alcohol or drugs drug induced hepatitis very common if it is less than two then all other causes alkaline phosphatase is raised in obstructive jaundice and ggt is raised in obstructive jaundice plus alcoholic liver disease both so if alkaline phosphatase is raised but the ggt is normal it means that alkaline phosphatase is coming from the bone so you have to look at the bone pathology because both must be raised in obstructive jaundice Another scenario is in pregnancy, alkaline phosphatase is produced by placenta. So in pregnancy, you look for the GGT that is most reliable. PT is acute liver failure. In acute liver failure, 
we are looking for the PT because the uh, PT showing the extrinsic pathway or the intrinsic pathway extrinsic pathway and the clotting factor responsible for PT or 2719 and that are produced by the liver so acute liver failure PT is the indicator of acute liver failure albumin serum albumin has a very long half life long half life so it is an indicator of chronic liver failure chronic liver failure so this was a discussion regarding the lfts and rfts thanks for watching